Good day, everyone, and welcome to FXDD webinar. Well, today uh, we have uh, how to trade range bars, and I hope that this webinar will help you out in determining um, the correct uh, range for trading, uh, and uh, we go with range bars. This is completely different uh, style of trading than uh, price action trading in the sense that uh, range bars are formed uh, on offline charts and today this is the introductory webinar introductory webinar to range bars so i will show you basics of range bars and of course as this webinar progress uh, we will have more on this uh, during later stages so basically what we are going to talk about is uh, range bars the introduction to range bars and uh, basic things regarding chart patterns that form with range bars before i start have in mind that forex trading carries a high level of risk that is not suitable for everyone please ensure that you fully understand risks involved before you start trading live everything you see and hear from me is my personal opinion only use these web addresses to sign up for more live educational and trading videos so we can start now with range bars basically quick introduction uh, as i said uh, range bars were developed in the mid 90s by a trader named vicente nicolelis as he wanted to exploit volatility to his advantage he couldn't find his way with normal price section uh, uh bars or candlesticks and he developed something that uh, back in time he deemed that it was more efficient than uh japanese candlesticks and uh, bars when volatility is high more bars will be printed out and when volatility is low less bar will be printed out this is the basic premise of range bar trading and as i said it is a completely different dimension to uh, trading of price section, harmonics, indicator based, it's totally, totally different. Each range bar must have a high and low range that equals that specific range. Now, these are the primary rules and prerequisites for a range bar trading. So watch and listen to this carefully. Each range bar must open outside the high-low range of the previous bar. Each range bar must close at either its high or its low. So this is very important, okay? The range bars are printed out only when a certain number of pips exceeds uh, the range that has been given. So this is how it looks on uh, the chart. This is a six uh, pip range bar. So every time the price goes six pips and breaks it six pip range bar is printed out so each of these candles or let's say range bars has six pips in it now there are different strategies guys including range bars we will go through them because i myself have have devised a couple of strategies with training range bars but uh, in order to switch to range bars you really need to also change your psychology or how you view markets because range bars are not and i will repeat they are completely different to price action normal time frames let's say this is also a form of price action in a more clear form because you define when let's this is similar to renko when when a certain pip range uh, is found uh, immediately range bar is printed it different, it's different to Renko because range bars can also have these small wicks, as you can see here. Now, we will define this also on the chart. I think charts are the best guys to actually go with this. So, basically, you go with uh, range bars like this. And in order to see this, first, you need to have a script or an indicator that will... Uh, make these offline charts available. Uh, I use the script named, uh, it's uh, called, I will show you right here, S constant range bars. Uh, it's uh, basically, you can find it freely on the internet. It's a script and it should be put into the scripts folder. Of course, there are also other ways to show range bars, but this is what I've been using for a long time. And you can see how this, uh, uh, 
how this chart looks like. If you watch this uh, window here at the uh, lower left of the screen, you can see that each range bar has actually uh, six pips in it. Of course, this is now gold, so it's different, but we can move on to Forex. And this is the example how you do it, guys. So watch carefully. First, let's say you want to trade, I don't know, random pair. Let uh, We will open. Let's say you want to trade the GBP dollar. You go here, add GBP dollar. And you see this is normal chart, okay? So basically, you have a normal chart. You need to uh, select one minute time frame because it means that each uh, minute the chart will be refreshed and it will draw data that are necessary for range bars. So when you click one minute, then you insert the script. Okay, in the script folder, uh, you need to put this indicator. It's called S constant range bars. Okay, at least this is with the, this script. With other indicators, you will have different rules for uh, opening offline charts. So we go to constant range bars. And this is important. Uh, how I do it? If I want to see that uh, the bar range is six, I will place six here and time frame six. Uh, this time frame, you can choose whatever you want, okay? But it is good to know that uh, it's, co is, uh, it's uh, connected to the bar's range. For me, it's easier. If I want to see 10 pip bar range, I will put 10 here. And then I will uh, change the time frame to 10. So let's use as common settings are uh, in between 3 and 12. Uh, let's say that we want to use 3... Three pip range bars. So we go to three here, bars range three and time frame three. And this is what we what we did. So max bars 10,000, show gaps false, rescale for five digit brokers through. And we say, okay. Okay, guys, this is what perfectly works with FXDD. So let me uh, do it again. You need to also check, guys, this allow DLL imports. It will draw the DLL from uh, the MT4, and here we go. So we have a uh, constant range bar started. Now, we have offline chart. Watch this, guys. Now you go to File, Open Offline, and find GBP dollar M3. Okay, this is important. You need to find GBP dollar M3 because you put three as a time frame, it will show GBP dollar M3. If you put six, it, it would be GBP dollar M6. Here we go. GBP, GBP dollar M3. Here we go. And we have now trip. Now you can use whatever you want. Apply any of the template guys you want. Okay, this is it. You see range bars have these wicks compared to Renko. Renko bars, they don't have it. And now if you take a look at this bottom uh, left here, you will see that each of these has three pips. See high, low. Read this, guys, okay? This is what you should read. High and low, okay? See this. Each of these range bars have three pips in it. So you see high, low, high, low. And that this is it. This is three pip range bar. Usually scalpers use less uh, pips per range bar. So it's in between three and five intraday traders used from five to eight swing traders can use even 20. now we will see how it looks you see this is gbp on, on uh three pip range bar now watch gbp dollar on 10 pip range bar okay so we go again to plus gbp dollar now remember this is important each time you want to print another uh, offline chart for range bars you need to have a separate here, a separate window. Uh, the uh, range bars are not time frame related. They're totally price related. So forget about time frame. On range bar trading, time frames do not exist. This is crucial to remember. Time frames do not exist. Okay? So for range bars, you need to have a clearly defined number of pips per range bar this some people call this pure price action there are pros and cons of course but it takes a different mentality to treat these range bars especially if you uh learn and you know how to trade 
uh, classic price action time frames. So we open GBP dollar M1 and we want to put concentrate bars on 10 pips. So we click allow DLL imports. We go to inputs and we put 10 here. Okay, and we put 10 here. And this is same. Max bar, show gaps, rescale, and we go with okay. So yeah, we need to, we need to, uh, of course, always allow DLL import. So let's do it again. Okay, uh, let's do it again. Allow DLL imports, inputs 10. And time frame is same, 10. So now, guys, we watch GBP dollar M10 in offline charts, okay? So we go to file, open offline, and we want to find GBP dollar M10. Eh, here we go, GBP dollar M10. And now, see this? These are 10 pip range bar charts. Now, guys, see this? And see this. See how it's different. Okay, so no, what is uh, sometimes, guys, you will see that not enough range bars are printed out. Simply put, you can close this and you can try this simple trick. It doesn't always work, but sometimes it works. So on one minute time frame, try to go with uh, pl press end and press home, end home. Okay. So now you see there is again we go to file open data for or not open offline sorry yes the default setting is always 25 you can change it so go to open offline and see this gbp dollar m10 you see only 56 bars are printed out it's it's not much so i always restart when i see that so i always go to plus Again, GBP dollar. Then I go to one minute. I go to constant range bars. I press 10. And I press 10 here. Due to the glitch in MT4, you see, there is maximum bars 10,000. But it, it shows less. But it doesn't matter. I always try to click end and home. So I go to home and end. And I always try to see these guys. Because then... You know, when I take a look at this and when I actually scroll to the left, uh, a lot of these offline charts will be loaded into the M, uh, M, uh, T4. So the data on the M1 will load into the MT4. So I just wait a little bit. Okay. I just scroll, scroll, and scroll. I need to turn off this auto scroll. And now I press home. Okay, I just wait a little bit. Okay, and I press end. And now let's see, we go to file, open uh, offline, and we go to GBPM10. You see, it didn't work. It, it actually has 56 pips, uh, 56 bars. It doesn't matter. For 10 pip, this can be okay. Okay, so this is it. Now, the beauty of all this is that you can apply as uh, whichever template you want. So we can apply, I don't know, uh, Bollinger Band template, whatever template you want, guys. Keep in mind that some indicators will not work correctly with this. But it's a good thing to use with the template that is suitable for range bars. Now, let's use, for example, Euro Australian dollar. Let's try to apply uh, 25 pip range bar default so we go to constant range bars allow dll imports in inputs we put 25 pips and time frame 25. i always match bars range with time frame because that is what gives me uh, uh correct uh data for range bars when i want to open an offline template and i go with okay uh no one minute bars available so we need to put one minute yeah there was a warning uh, always put one minute always guys so inputs 25 and we go with this 
Okay, so let's wait a little bit. Okay. I will scroll home and and now I hope that is more than uh, 56. But it's actually uh, it's uh, 25 range bar, so it should be enough. Okay, so we go to open offline, Euro Audi, M25. Let's find it. Here, 14, but let's see how it looks. Yeah, so this, guys, when this happens, okay, when this happens, the point is you need to lower. When, when it's something that is less than 25, you need to lower your pip uh, uh, per range bar. So we go with less now, okay? So these are tricks that you can use uh, if this happens. So again, apply Euro Australian dollar. We go to one minute. We go to as constant range bars. Now we will use six. As I said, commonly I used in between three and eight. This is what I personally used. So let's use six. Okay, this is widely accepted number. And uh, we go with okay. Sometimes, as I say, it needs to load. We can wait a little bit. And try to see now. Open offline. Euro Australian dollar M6. M6. 221. You see? It's now much better. Because 221 is enough. Really. Now you have range bars. And you can, of course, apply any of the templates you want. You can apply whatever template, guys, you wish. Uh, London Open Alliance. Let's say just for... An example, guys, you see, it's totally uh, time frame independent. There is no time frames here. Now, if you want to have a strategy on range bars, you need to have a system that is uh, uh, suitable for range bars. So it's, again, completely different than to the methods that we use for trading the price action on different time frames. You can also watch patterns here, guys. You can find head and shoulders. See this? You can easily define head and shoulders with this. Uh, Ws, you see? But, again, it's different. Remember this. It is different to time frames. It requires different systems and different approach. So, this is the starting webinar for uh, range bars. In one of our next sessions, watch for a system that I have personally created for range bar trading. Sign up for these webinars, guys. I gave you all the, the address. So uh, always try to uh, sign up for more live educational and trading videos here uh, with the FXDD. These are the addresses, okay? So sign up and, of course, enjoy uh, this uh, educational thing that has always been tested in practice. Also, guys, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm running a FXDD live account. Of course, uh, here it is. And this is connected to my FX book. So you can always check my FX book stats uh, there uh, if you're interested to see how I trade. Also have these live trading webinars with FXDD. Thank you guys for listening. And I hope that you will enjoy range bars. So uh, one in one of our next sessions, we will talk about specific systems to trade with range bars. Until then, as always, cheers and trade safe.